We all trade off in many areas of our lives, even though we may not realise we're doing it. New research shows that 7 in 10 people are making compromises, and the main reason is to make the most of their money. One area of my life where I very much uh, made a compromise is buying vinyl. Um, I'm a big music fan, but you know it's very expensive, it can run into the thousands, so I've cut down on that to be able to provide in other areas. I have made uh, a compromise recently. Um, a few weeks ago I stopped buying my regular coffee on the way into work, as uh, I'm currently saving uh, for the deposit for a new car. Um, I would compromise on my nights out, I think, for uh if I wanted to buy something particularly or save up for something. Offsetting is simply making a trade-off between one thing and another in order to get the best outcome. So we make trade-offs or compromises all the time in our lives because we have limited resources and we have to weigh up the pros and cons of the decisions that we make, both for short-term and long-term gain. No, I, I would spend now rather than... I'll deal with the future when it comes to it. I'll live the moment. Go a few years in us, yeah. <laughs> Going to university would be a good example. Young people have to give up four years or three years of not earning any salary and getting into debt um, in order, they hope, in the long term, to be able to get a better job, to have had the personal satisfaction of a good education and believing that their temporary or short-term sacrifice will really pay off for them in the long term. Do you know, I actually think it's really important at the moment to you know, put a little bit aside, make some compromises, otherwise how are you going to save for the future? Financial offsetting, although it's really important to us, often brings us rewards that are in the longer distance, they're further away, so it requires more long-term thinking, and we're not so good at that. As humans, we often want immediate or instant gratification. I think it's Im very important to uh, plan and save for the future. We never know what's around the corner, when we go through fat times, when we go through times when money is plentiful, we must put some away, we must save it in order that when we come to a time where it is thinner and more difficult to get or we're older and we need it, it is there for us. While offset mortgage holders are still in the minority, and many people may not even know what an offset mortgage is, it appears that the vast majority of people enact some form of offset in their everyday lives. They may not even be conscious that they're doing it, but they are instinctively weighing up their options and making a compromise that gets them the best deal and makes their money work hardest for them.